Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with a plat. Did you know that I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video? Probably. Listen, this is my I had the day off shirt. Okay, live with it. It has Seinfeld. It's cool. Anyway, did you also know that there are other monster wranglers in Dragon Quest Monsters Joker The Dark Prince 3 Recoded? Yes, and they want to synthesize with you, but they they it's it's not as gross as it sounds trust me but yeah there are breeding synthesizing par partners in the game you could find so i'm going to go do one and then i'll kind of list off um where you could find them stuff like that uh kind of give you an example of what they are where they are what you can get out of it and then i will of course as always it's not a plat guide unless i put in the description the game eight <laughs> guide as well um, I mean, I did discover these, but I didn't know all of them, of course. Game 8 is fantastic, and they just knew everything. So, the one I'm going to do here is the Circle of Temper. Circle of Temper, Daggle, Draggle Nook. Um, I purposely, when I, I shouldn't say purposely, I skipped many of these. None of Nothing you can get is insane, but if you're early on in the game, this kind of stuff is actually pretty huge. You can get some really cool monsters really early on. Um, I mean, you're never going to get an S rank. You're never even going to get an A rank. Um, but you can get several B ranks pretty easily as well, actually. Um, all right. So the one I'm going to do here, there's actually, there should be one in every single, I think it's every single echelon of every single circle, but it's basically every town. So maybe not every single echelon, but every town. First of all, let's take this. Never mind. When I said let's take that, I meant let's let them live their lives. We're going to go talk to our boy Scuttle Slime down here. Right here. I almost didn't see him. I was like, oh, great. They removed him. Sorry. I bet there's a mini metal here I never got. You got to be careful with those mini metals. I, <laughs> I'm going to make a video saying I beat the game 100%. I hope no one asks about my mini metals. I'm not going to get them all. Excuse me. Trust me. This is no ruse. I got a goo feeling about you. Would you like to choose one of my monsters to match with mine? Yep. They'll even give you, yes. So, yeah, if you pair it with a Draki, my monster will give you something truly special. So you are allowed to pair this with literally anything that you have. But they will give you a suggestion, right? So they've got a Wax Murderer. And you can see they, they kind of start with a little bit of uh, three different skills, which is, like, cool. Um, I did go catch a Draki. So normally in this part of the game, you know, you would, might only have lower rank stuff. So let me actually go by rank uh, ascending. Descending? No, yeah, ascending. So, like, if you get lucky and you get... I mean, I don't know. Even if you have rank F monsters or a rank G killer pillar, right? You could still do some other stuff. You could even... One thing that's cool is, like, if you want a wax murderer, you synthesize anything with it and keep the wax murderer. But there will be a couple options here. Like, with Draki, we can get a horrifying saucers. So, this is something that's considered like a rank up. It's two rank Gs will make a rank F. Um, and in early on in the game, that could be a pretty big deal. Because then this rank F could be synthesized with other things to give you different rank Fs, right? This is basically a door into that thing. However, um, you could also synthesize a bamboogan, boobooligan, you know, the, the green guy with the bamboo cane, um, to get a one of the sword guys. Um, but yeah, you could, do, you know, obviously if you're later in the game and you don't want to do that, you could go and like, you could synthesize it with freaking, I don't know, a Macho Pichu and get like these rank B guys, right? Like if you, if you need a Bone Baron for something or a Tentaclar to get a B rank, which I wouldn't probably do, but it's possible. You know, let's say you really want to get your, rid of your Orochi for some reason. All right. But we are going to do the Draki. Because that's just kind of what he wants us to do. And I don't want to feel, you know, I don't want to be, like, mean to this guy. Boom, boom, boom. You just flex how you would normally synthesize it. You can only match make with this partner once. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I should have mentioned that. The game will tell you. But each of these can only be done once. Also, are there any other monsters in the game as part of their animation? They drip things that then disappear? I don't know. Horrifying sauce. That's pretty funny. All right, and there we go. 
So that's basically all there is to it. I'm, I'm making this video not to show you how to do it, but basically to inform you in case you missed it that they're there because I didn't know until I was almost halfway through my whole playthrough. And if you're earlier on in the game, this these are really good synthesis opportunities to help give you some power. I'm sure I've been in that well, I guarantee it. I don't remember for sure. But let's kind of go over exactly where they're, they are. Um, so there are three in the Endor Coliseum. I'm not going to go over the exact locations, right? It's just adding 10 minutes to the video, and you guys are just going to go look at the guide anyway, right? But just so you guys can kind of look around, also, if you want to discover them yourself, kind of figure it out. There's three in the Endor Coliseum. However, they each require clearing a different category, category G, category D, and category B. So as you progress in the Endor Coliseum, you'll unlock the ability to do more. There's the Moliseum first floor, the Moliseum second floor. Uh, it's, there's two on the Moliseum second floor second floor same as before um the first one you could do as soon as you get there the second one you need to clear c class the second one you need to clear a class and now the one we just did here in draggle nook then we've got the honeyton let's actually we can go here circle of and honeyton right here that is the um circle of indulgence and then l which one's this the circle of capri sorry l fayum I thought there was one in Yettysburg, too, because that's the one I did. Oh, there is. Okay, Circle of Fortitude, Yettysburg. There we go. And then finally, there is one in the Diabolic Hall. So if we come back here to the Diabolic Hall, you will find one in here as well. So there's actually not quite as many as I thought. I thought there was more on the other echelons. Like in the, I guess they just stopped being towns, right? Um, although there could have, there should have been one in the upper echelon, I think of the, sorry, the middle echelon of the circle of corruption. I feel like they, they could have added some more. I don't know. It would have been cool if there was some late game ones that let you get some A or S rank, like a couple S rank things, right? If you bring like, it would be really cool to introduce you to S rank through this system. Um, but that's the ones that are known about. If there's more, I don't know about them because I haven't found them and neither is game eight, which means they probably don't exist. So whenever you go talk to them, they will let you know exactly what to do. Um, however, they'll, they'll let you bring, it's like, Hey, bring this monster. You'll get a rank up monster basically, but there are other rank up monsters that they're not going to tell you about. Right? So for example, um, you could even kind of chain these a little bit. I'm trying to see which ones, if there's a lot of examples or if it's just kind of like one or two of them. So like if, if for example, if the guy we just went to, if instead of giving him a uh, Drackey, if we would have given him a Bambooglin, um, we would have gotten an Eraser Blade. And then if we go to the first Endor Coliseum guy and fuse him with a Eraser Blade, we get a Stabasaur, right? So like there's a, you could take the monster you synthesize and synthesize it with another one and get something else. There's not too many examples of that. Typically, you're probably going to want to use the Eraser Blade to, uh, with the Scornet, <laughs> probably to get a Paraslicer. But you know, there's other things like that. But also, like, so a lot of these guys, like the guy that you could fuse with the Eraser Blade, you might want to give him a Komodo and you can get a Drag Racer instead. Um, so there's just lots of different combinations. Not a lot, but there's a couple. And mostly, this you're going to do a better job if you just look at the list, see exactly what you need. But this is mostly a PSA to kind of let you know what the dealy dough is. Anyway, per platypus is per platypus. Hope this video was at least a little bit helpful to you. It's it's a simple one, all right? It's a simple one, but I'm a simple plat sometimes. Much love, per platypus is per platypus. I just made that guide about min-maxing stats. Give me an easy one for a minute, all right? All right, peace out. I'll see you guys on the flip-flops. Bye.